Hi, Todd Vrooman. Here's a new truck that I just bought for $2,800. I think it was completely worth it because of what's underneath the hood. I mean, it's got a five-speed manual, other than I need to replace the transmission because shift forks are gone for fifth and reverse. The NV3500. Not meant to handle this kind of horsepower. But here's solely the reason why I bought this thing. It's a 98 Chevy, four wheel drive, with the 2002 LS 5.3 liter. And, of course, it is turbocharged. Well, I'm gonna make a few changes to it. I'm actually gonna make it intercooled, because got some detonation when it gets a little bit warmer so I'm gonna take care of that thing is you can't see the turbo anywhere from up top it's down below underneath the truck but let's get the oil return from the turbo right here someday in the future I would like to make a change to make the turbo at least up on this side of the engine on the passenger side but I think it was completely worth it. Turbo's kind of uh, blowing oil. So I need to get it replaced. But it was a pretty neat setup for it being so cheap for the truck. I mean, there's uh, an oil line leaking on top. It's water cooled turbo. And it is a pretty neat setup, but then the wastegate, it's. It goes into a three inch exhaust. And also, it's got a little oil pump, pump oil back up from the turbo to the engine. And what happens after it sits for, let's say, a week? Oil leaks in, pass through the seals in the turbo. Then you start it up for the first time. After sitting for that long, it smokes like crazy. But this thing's gonna be a damn good work in progress. I mean, I already got another transmission from the junkyard, a good NV4500. So, it should be able to handle the power. I did have this thing dynoed a couple days after I got it. Yeah, I do not trust their dyno because it didn't even put enough load on the engine to even build boost. But what their dyno was telling me is at 8.5 pounds, 318 horsepower and 415 pounds of torque. And it feels like much more than that. This thing just has some get up and go. Strong get up and go. But... The thing is, though, it does have water methanol injection. Let's get some regular fuel injectors there. I had to get it working because it wasn't working when I bought it. I had to put a check valve in here because boost pressure was blowing it back into the tank, which is in the back of the truck. It's a five-gallon tank, but I want to find a different tank for that because it's... Just kind of thrown together, but and for what it was worth, this thing was completely worth it. I mean, it's got airbags underneath on the back axle. Other than that, it runs damn good. Besides the noise the transmission makes. But I will make a video though of me installing the intercooler, so 
Got a new clutch on the way, heavy duty. And yeah, I'll keep everyone updated.